Did you know that the uterus is the only muscular organ that can expand to more than 200 times its volume? And it can come back to its original size in just a short period of time? Well, now you know. Hi, my name is Dr. Pranay Desai and welcome to my channel. I am an obstetrician, a gynecological endoscopic surgeon, and a cosmetic gynecologist. My aim is to spread knowledge about the female reproductive system, gynecological diseases, its prevention and solutions in a simple and a much easy to understand language. So if such content interests you, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video. Before we jump into the depths of gynecology, let's understand what makes the female reproductive system. The system comprises of four main organs, the uterus, the vagina, a pair of fallopian tubes, and a pair of ovaries. Let's first talk about the vagina. The vagina is a muscular tube that extends from the skin of the perineum below to the uterus above. It's about 8 to 10 centimeters in length and is the site of vaginal sexual intercourse. Next is the uterus. The uterus is a pear-shaped muscular organ situated in the female pelvis. It has two parts, the lower button-shaped part called the cervix which can be visualized from the vagina below and the upper part which is called the body. The uterus has three layers, the inner called the endometrial cavity, the middle thick part which is made up of muscles is called the myometrium and the outer thin layer called the serosa. The normal length of the uterus is about 6 to 7 centimeters which grows to about 30 to 35 centimeters at the 9 month of pregnancy. Likewise, its volume increases from around 20 to 40 milliliters to around 4,500 to 5,000 milliliters to accommodate a full-grown baby of approximately 3 kilograms. Now that is massive. But what is most stunning is that right after the birth of the baby, the muscle of the uterus shortens to almost half its size. And in only six weeks time, the uterus comes back to its original non-pregnant state with almost no defects. Now, isn't that just marvelous? The fallopian tubes. These are a pair of thin tubular structures attached on the either side of the upper part of the uterus. Just next to these are a pair of date-sized oval structures called the ovaries. The ovaries act like the bosses of the female reproductive system and more or less control the functioning of the other three organs. There you have it. That's the anatomy of the female reproductive system. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.